Welcome to Finance with Avery. In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY annual percentage yield for May 2023. There have been some movements in this month right here with the ranking of these savings accounts. And just now, like seriously, I was checking the accounts and everything and making sure, you know, the APYs are still right. And if anything changed before I record this video and the number 10 on the list moved to number one. So now there is a tie at number one. Yeah, just like that. If you enjoy these ranking videos, and videos like this or any of my other videos make sure you're subscribed to the channel it's free you know and it's informational it's informative i'm not pushing anything you know it's not a sales pitch or anything like that so if you like the channel if you like the videos hit that subscribe button and thanks for the support. And before we jump into the top 10 list here, we're gonna go over some common features and some of the requirements that I have to even make it on my list that all these accounts have in common. And now the first requirement, which is the most important to me, is that the account has to be FDIC insured. And FDIC stands for Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which is an independent U.S. government agency that protects monetary deposit accounts. And so what that is basically is that the money you have in these banks and these financial institutions are protected up to a certain amount. Usually it's 250000 However, some financial institutions protect more than that, like a million or two million. And so what they do is they spread your cash deposits into different banks, and that's how they get more than that $250,000 protection for you up to a million two million sometimes and there's some accounts in this list that have that and i'll go over those when we get to those certain accounts right there and so the next requirement is that none of these accounts have a monthly maintenance fee so there's no four dollars and 95 cents five dollars three dollars or anything attached to these accounts where you have to pay a certain amount or basically have it take from your balance to have an account with these financial institutions and with these banks no monthly maintenance fees and then next up the apy the annual percentage yield is variable and subject to change because these accounts are not fixed yields if you want to fix apy then it would be better to do a certificate of deposit. And I have videos on those kind of accounts and everything, and I do those monthly as well. But for these accounts, where I have these savings accounts, the APY is variable, which means it is subject to change. It's not fixed. And typically right now, the trajectory that these savings accounts are on is that it's been raising. Every month or every two months, these accounts have been raising their APY and their interest rates. So the APY that you see right here on this video today is what it would be like as of now. This is a couple days ago for some of these. Some of these may have already raised their rate by the time this video uploads, because I've had that happen before, like the next day, and one of these accounts raise their APY and I have to kind of sometimes I'll put it in the comments hey so and so raise their APY to this so they would be number this on the list now but so these APYs are variable so it's not really like you're locking in this APY you'll get whatever APY the account is at so right now for instance if you open an account with one of these that has a 4% APY well your money will be making that 4% APY that annual percentage yield and the interest rate is usually a little bit lower than like 3.9 or something like that so for example if the account raises the APY next month next week tomorrow or anything like that you'll be obtaining that new APY for the money in your account however on the other spectrum is that if they lower the apy then you'll be getting that lower apy on your money in the account and so that is just what i wanted to let you know the apy is variable and subject to change however the trajectory has been on is that either these accounts have been staying the same high apy for these high yield savings accounts or they've been increasing the apy and so the next requirement is that for these accounts there are no monthly minimum balance required to avoid fees because you do have accounts out there that have a certain minimum like you have to have at least a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars in the account at all times or else you will get that monthly maintenance fee or some kind of fee attached to your account with these accounts right here there is no monthly minimum balance required to avoid fees and next up this isn't necessarily a requirement but this is something i wanted to notate for these accounts is that some of these do have an initial deposit required to start these accounts it is really is a tie to that no monthly minimum balance because for these accounts they're saying that there's an initial deposit required for some of these accounts and some of them don't have one at all some of them like a hundred dollars a thousand dollars and when we get to those specific accounts i'll let you know what that initial deposit requirement is right there just want to notate that because not all of these have a just no you know initial deposit requirement there are some that do have an initial deposit requirement all right, and now finish with that section, let's jump into the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY for May 2023. Starting with number 10, we have the My Banking Direct High Yield Savings Account at 4.38% APY. There is a $500 minimum initial deposit required to open this account. My Banking Direct is a service of Flagstar Bank. New York Community Bank Corp Incorporated is the parent company of Flagstar Bank, which is one of the largest regional banks in the country. The company is headquartered in Hicksville, New York, with regional headquarters in Troy, Michigan. New York Community Bank Corp was founded in 1859 as the Queens County Savings Bank and was the first savings bank chartered by the state of New York in the New York City Borough of Queens. 
And coming in at number nine is the Wealthfront Cash Account at 4.55% APY. And with the Wealthfront Cash Account, your deposits could be covered up to $5 million by the FDIC insurance through their partner banks. Now, if you want to know more about the Wealthfront Cash Account, definitely check out my in detail video on it. I have a link down in the description on that. I go over the features, some reviews, some news, and the history various things about the Wealthfront themselves and the Wealthfront Cash Account. So definitely check that out if you want to know more about that. Now, Wealthfront is an automated investment service firm that was founded in 2008 by Andy Rashcliffe and Dan Carroll. In February 2019, Wealthfront introduced the cash account, which has an interest rate that tracks the federal funds rate. Wealthfront is able to offer up to $5 million in FDIC insurance because it deposits its clients' cash account funds in a network of partner banks, including Citibank, HSBC, Green Dot, and several other banks. Wealthfront headquarters is in Palo Alto, California. Coming in at number eight is the Salem 5 Direct E1 Savings Account at 4.61% APY. There is a minimum of $10 initial deposit required to open this account. And Salem 5 states that they reserve the right to transfer balances over a million dollars to a statement savings account, which currently earns an APY of 0.01%. So this is kind of their way of saying like, hey, you can get this 4.61% APY on your balance up to a million dollars. If you have more than a million dollars in this account, we could switch the rest of that to the statement savings account, which only earns 0.01% APY. So a big difference right there. Something to be aware of if you're doing that with Salem 5 Direct. Salem 5 is a traditional American mutual savings bank founded in 1855. The bank provides financial services including private banking, checking, deposit, and savings accounts. In addition, Salem 5 Bank offers mortgages, insurance, and commercial lending such as aviation and construction loans. Coming in at number seven is the Bread Financial High Yield Savings Account at 4.65% APY. There is a $100 minimum initial deposit required to open this account. Now, Brent Financial is a financial services company offering simple, personalized payment, lending, and saving solutions. Brent Financials was formerly known as Alliance Data, which was formed by a combination of the JCPenney's credit card processing unit and the Limited's credit card bank business. Alliance Data changed its name to Brent Financial Holdings in March 2022. The Brent Savings Account is a product of the Community Capital Bank, which was founded in 1996 with the headquarters in Columbus, Ohio. Now we have a tie at number six. First off here at number six tied, we have the popular direct high rise savings account at 4.75% APY. There is a $5,000 minimum initial deposit required to open this account. Popular Direct was launched in 2016 as an online only bank as a subsidiary of Popular Bank. Popular Incorporated was founded in 1893 and does business as Banco Popular in Puerto Rico and Virgin Islands and Popular Bank in the United States. Popular Direct offers an online savings account and various term CDs. Popular headquarters is in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Also tied at number six is the Basque Bank Interest Savings Account at 4.75% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account. Basque Bank is an online bank that offers one savings account that earns interest and another that earns American Airlines miles. Basque Bank is a division of Texas Capital Bank, which was founded in 1998, and their headquarters is in Dallas, Texas. Also tied at number six is the CIT Bank Platinum Savings Account at 4.75% APY. There is a $100 minimum initial deposit required to open this account. And now for this account, there's a little stipulation with the balance right here. So let me tell you about this. Now, you get that 4.75% APY on balances of $5,000 and more or 0.25% APY on balances under $5,000. But there is a way to somewhat, not necessarily get around that, but for instance, okay, if you want to bank with CIT Bank, if you made up, okay, your mind, this is who I want to bank with for my savings account, and you're going to have a balance of $5,000 or more, then the Platinum Savings Account would be best because it has the 4.75% APY. However, if you want to bank with them and your savings account is going to be under $5,000, the Platinum Savings Account would not be a good choice for me. I wouldn't do it because there would only be 0.25% APY. Now, if I wanted to bank with CIT Bank and I had a savings account under $5,000, I would choose the CIT Bank Savings Connect account, which has an APY of 4.50% APY with a minimum of $100 initial deposit requirement. Because for this account, you can have a balance under $5,000 and get 4.50% APY instead of having the Platinum Savings Account, which you will only get 0.25% for a balance under $5,000. They have a couple different savings accounts at CIT Bank, so it really depends on what your balance is about which one really will work best for you and your money. 
Now, CIT was founded in 1908 in St. Louis, Missouri. CIT stands for Commercial Investment Trust. After various ventures of acquisitions being sold in bankruptcy, CIT was acquired by First Citizens Bank Shares in January 2022. CIT provides financing, cash management, treasury management, small business administration loans, mortgage loans, leasing, and more. CIT headquarters is in New York, New York. Coming in at number five is the TAB TAB Bank High Yield Savings Account at 4.76% APY. There is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account. TAB Bank was founded in 1998 with a goal to offer banking services that focused on the trucking industry as a banking service located inside of truck stops. It still handles the specific banking needs of truck drivers and fleet operators, but the bank's products have expanded to also serve individual customers. TAB, T-A-B, stands for Transportation Alliance Bank, and they're headquartered in Ogden, Utah. And coming in at number four is the Primus Personal Savings Account at 4.77% APY. There is a $1 minimum initial deposit required to open this account. Primus Financial is a holding company for Primus Bank, which is a state chartered bank headquartered in Glen Allen, Virginia. Primus offers checking and savings accounts, loans, a credit card, and more. The company was formerly known as Southern National Bank Corp of Virginia, but changed its name to Primus Financial Corporation. Primus Financial Corporation was founded in 2004 and is based in McLean, Virginia. Coming in at number three, we have the RentNet Bank Mega Money Market Account at 4.80% APY. Now, yes, this is a money market account, but it's pretty much a savings account as far as like its features and things like that. It reminds you of one. Money market accounts and savings accounts have a lot in common. They used to be like a more of a difference, you know, and there still is with some banks. You know, some of them have a debit card, some do not, depending on if it's a money market account or a savings account. RentNet Bank doesn't necessarily have a savings account, you know, just named a savings account, but this Mega Money Market Account could definitely be used as a savings account. And they also have a check account but for this video right here the mega money market account made it on the savings account list right here because it's more in common with the savings account than their checking account now the mega money market account has that 4.80 percent apy there is a minimum 500 dollars initial deposit required to open this account now depending on balance we have will determine your apy on the balances up to seventy five thousand dollars you get the apy of 4.80 percent amounts over the seventy five thousand dollars earn 0.50 percent apy so with this account is best for you know accounts that are seventy five thousand dollars or less because if you have more than seventy five thousand dollars that amount that's over that seventy five thousand dollars well that APY is going to be less right there it's going to be 0.50 percent instead of 4.80 percent which is a big difference right there just something to note on this account Redneck Bank is the internet banking division of All American Bank which was established in Mustang Oklahoma in 1969 as the first Mustang State Bank. Now headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Redneck Bank offers a checking account and a money market savings account. Coming in at number two is the UFB Direct Premier Savings Account at 4.81% APY. Now the savings accounts with UFB Direct, the name has been changing. So that's just something to look out for. I don't have an account with them. I never have. But if you know what's going on there or if you have an account with UFB Direct and can comment on the name changes or something, leave a comment down below. Like, do they change the name of your account or do they keep your account the same and then, you know, start a new account with a different name and then your APY doesn't change or it goes down or something like I'm unfamiliar with that. But I have noted doing these monthly videos that their name of their savings accounts has changed like various times not just once but like multiple times so just something that stands out here with usb direct but right now the savings account is called the premier savings account so it has a 4.81 percent apy there is no initial minimum deposit required to open this account now usb direct is a digital bank founded in 2000 that's a division of access bank usb direct offers deposit accounts and mortgages Axos Bank was previously known as Bank of Internet USA until it rebranded as Axos in 2018. Axos Bank headquarters is in San Diego, California. Now we have a tie at number one, and this is the account that I was talking about at the beginning of the video that jumped from number 10 to number one once I checked their website and saw that their APY increased. So yes, coming in tied at number one right here first, we have the First Foundation Bank online savings account at 4.85% APY. There is a minimum $1,000 initial deposit required to open this account. First Foundation Bank was founded in 2007. It was originally started to serve the clients of First Foundation Wealth Advisory Business. First Foundation provides banking, financial planning, investment management, trust services, estate, and legacy planning. Their headquarters is in Irvine, California. And also tied at number one, we have the VO Bank Cornerstone Money Market Savings Account at 4.85% APY. There is a minimum $100 initial deposit required to open this account, and there is a $5 monthly fee if you receive paper statements. So 
this one does fall into that no monthly maintenance fee or everything like that if you don't receive paper statements. But if you want paper statements, then there's a $5 monthly fee. BO Bank is the online division of Mid First Bank, which is one of the largest privately held banks in the United States. BO Bank offers a savings account, a money market savings account, and various term CD accounts, certificate of deposit accounts. Mid First Bank was established in 1911 and is headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And that is it for the video of the top 10 savings accounts ranked by APY for May 2023. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Have an awesome day. Take care.